Hey everyone, so this is our first basicsofmusic.com exercise. So I'm going to do the walkthrough of how to do that kind of exercise, and I'm also going to go over how the duration exercise works, because that one can be a little confusing when you first see it, but it's actually really easy once you get used to it. So you'll always see a link that goes to a specific exercise on the page in each basicsofmusic.com exercise. So just like musictheory.net exercises, there will always be a link that goes to a specific exercise. Now for these, it's a little bit different once you get to that website. You will need a username and password to get in, and that password is located in the Basics of Music detailed instructions. So you can just click on that right from the assignment. There'll always be a link for that in each assignment. And there's a couple other things that are a little bit different about the way we turn these in, so it's good to go through it once with you. So just looking at our step-by-step -step instructions, we're going to click the link like we always do, and we're going to put in our username and password when we reach the site. And then, also like musictheory.net, we need to score 90% or better in less than 5 minutes and do 20 repetitions minimum. Now, every once in a while, some of these will be a little bit more difficult than others, and every once in a while I set it so that there are only 10 repetitions required. But that's rare, and the instructions will let you know when that happens. Once you get a high enough score, you'll see a Submit Score page where you put in your name, choose your class, and then click Submit. Make sure you type your name in with the right spelling, otherwise it will be hard for the instructor to find your score. Then, when you're done, you're going to return to Canvas and type Done, in the text entry box, and then you click Submit. So there's no need for a code or anything like we do with musictheory.net. All right, so let's walk through that whole process. So I'm gonna go to that link, and it turns out that I already have that open here. And since this is our duration exercise, I'm also gonna have my boxed rhythm chart here open, which is straight from the content page on duration. Now, Looking at our site, you can click more info if you need a reminder of how many you need to do or any other instructions you might need to refresh on. And then I'm just going to click start because I'm going to be able to explain this, but you'll always see some instructions here as well. Okay, and this is what we see. Now this at first is a little confusing. There's our timer ticking away and a little speaker box to turn on or off the feedback audio. But then we get this. What this really is, I know it looks like math, so all we're doing is we want to know how many of this value on the left will fit in this value on the right. So the question is, how many quarter notes are equal to a whole note? Well, we can use our chart for these, and that's exactly what we want to get good at, because as we play music or learn music, a big part of rhythm is just being able to compare hey, how long does this guy last compared to how long another note lasts? Now this question right here is a good one to start with because we're used to whole notes and we know quarters, right? Quarters, four quarters and a dollar. There's our whole note. The whole note is the dollar in that case, right? So a whole note lasts for four counts and we see that it has the biggest horizontal space in our chart. Now, if we want to compare notes, all we have to do is go down look at our quarter notes in this case, and we see, oh, it takes one, two, three, four quarter notes to take up the same amount of space, which is really the same amount of time, as a whole note. So the answer must be four. I'm going to click four, and there's my feedback. All right, and we can use this to compare all sorts of different notes. The notes on the left will always be smaller amounts of time than the notes on the right. So you'll always need at least two or more. All right, so we have 16th note there. Part of this is just getting used to recognizing the note type as well. And we see that we're trying to compare it to a half note. So a half note's box is two beats, which is really all this space here. So how many of these 16ths does it take to occupy that same amount of space? Again, really, it's the same amount of time as a half note. Well, the half note lasts up to that big middle line there, and that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixteenths that fit in a half. Nice. All right. How many eighths in a quarter? 
Well, the quarter takes up this much space. Two eighths take up that same amount of horizontal space, so it must be two. Okay, how many eighth notes are there in a half? Okay, half notes there, eighth notes there. I see four of them. And then we cruise right through. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit, get through a few of these, so that you can see what things look like at the end. Some of these will repeat. Now, just so you can see what it looks like if you miss one, and you see that your percentage has changed. Remember, you need either 18, 19, or 20 out of 20 in order to get 90% or better out of 20. 16 sixteenths in a hole. Look at all those sixteenths. Almost there. All right, and then now that I got the correct score, my turn in page has showed up. You need to put in your name. Again, be careful about your spelling. Make sure you're getting the right spelling in there. And then pick your class, hit submit, and it'll say that you've been recorded. If you wanna go back to the basic site to practice some more, you can. And then one last step, go back to Canvas, click Submit Assignment on that assignment, and it will load a text entry page. So as soon as you click that initial submit assignment button, you'll get a text entry page. You're gonna type done in there and then hit submit assignment. Now the reason we do that is because if you don't do that, it will be hard to keep track of which ones you've actually done because you won't see anything there until after the due date, which is when I'll put in the scores. So make sure you have some way of keeping track. So you can say done or anything you want to say. I'm, that one was awesome, whatever you want to do, okay? And then you're all set. So we go to Basics of Music. We put in our username and password. We get a good enough score to get the submit score page. We put in our name. We're careful about the spelling. And then we choose our class. And then we come back to Canvas and type done in the text entry box. And then you're all set. And then you just move on. So have fun with those. Should be easy and hopefully fun. Okay. Bye-bye.